Well, I'm back making another video, and uh, as you just saw, it's 20 degree, negative 20 degrees outside, uh, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, that is, so. It's a cold one today, and uh, that's not with wind chill. It's about the same in the garage, because it's not heated, and uh, the doors really don't even do anything. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so, I wanted to film this just to kind of show you guys some stuff that I got recently. This will be a pickup video and a little bit of an update video, so, hopefully it's a pretty cool video, pun intended. Um, yeah, it was kind of lame. But, uh, yeah, so, hopefully it's a pretty good video. Hope you guys like it. Um, just kind of wanted to, I guess, make a video just to show you guys I'm not dead. And, uh, because I would like to make more videos, and I'll get into that a little bit later once we get down uh, downstairs out of this cold weather. But uh, just to start the video off, I figured, what the heck, might as well come out here for a couple minutes and do a, a little pickup video. And then might bring some of these downstairs and start restoring them. I already did with a 2GS. Um... So, we might do that a little bit later. I probably won't show you guys that, though. That'll be maybe a separate video on its own. Possibly, I'm not sure on that. Um, or at least one of them would likely, will likely be a separate video. Uh, so, yeah. This is a little pickup of stuff that I got uh, recently. And normally I try to do pickups on larger items, on larger computer hauls, I guess you could say. So, this is a little bit of a larger one. This is by no means the largest that I've ever gotten. It could have been the largest that I've ever gotten if I would have taken everything. Um, and I'll put up a picture right here. So as you can see, he had a lot of stuff. And uh, you know, he had quite a few Apple uh, things, as well as all those Dells you saw. So you know, in a lot of them, um, as you can see, probably, were uh, very rusty and, and not in very good condition. So, yeah, it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't the uh, best thing I'd ever found. I've found a lot nicer computer. Well, I think that was the worst that I've ever found, actually, to be completely honest with you. So that was probably one of the worst uh, finds as far as the condition of most of the stuff. However, the stuff that I grabbed, I tried to grab some decent stuff. But then stuff like this 2C right here, I only grabbed that because it was kind of something I don't have. And uh, I think he told me he was just going to throw it in with everything else. Same with this. And, you know, you can't really open these just because they need, you know, you need a screwdriver and I didn't have one. So I don't really know what the condition of both of these are. I'm sure they have shielding. Uh, a lot of stuff was really rusty there. All these disk drives. In fact, this one still has water, ice in it. So that just tells you how cold it's been the past week since I picked these up. Um, so, yeah, I stopped there with a friend and uh, we sorted through everything and the big pile of Dells that you saw, that was... Uh, most of the stuff, and there was quite a few apples to it. Uh, so the other stuff around here, like the 8-inch floppy drive and this big Quantum, or Quantel, I'm sorry, and Quantum, I don't know what I'm talking about, and uh, uh, these two Dell servers, they weren't included. Uh, that was just stuff that I picked up elsewhere that needs to come into the house at some point, and that'll probably come down in the basement this summer, at least this will, and it's something I've been really wanting to show you guys and do a special video on, so I'm not going to go into detail on what it all is, uh, but I'll let you see the back of it. <laughs> and uh, like I said, at some point I'm going to do a video on that and we'll restore it on the channel. It's probably going to be a pretty large video, pretty long, because um, there's just a lot to it. The power supplies, the main boards, um, the back planes, everything. So that'll be fun. It is Motorola based, so it is a Motorola 6800. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. Or 68K, whatever. So kind of going over the first little things that I found here. Um, we'll start with this 2E over here, because this is probably going to be the one that I, well, it's either going to be this one or the other 2E that I take downstairs uh, to work on first. So, But uh, yeah, this is the nicest one that he had. Some of them were cracked. Um, you might have saw in some of those pictures that some of them actually were missing parts, like the corners and the fronts. Some of them were cracked right here. But uh, this one was in the best shape, I think, out of everything. And uh, I really just have stuff kind of thrown in here right now, some cards and stuff. So uh, this is a mouse interface card right here. Uh, we got the disc controller right here, and that's just I believe five and a quarter inch your uni disc controller, whatever they're called. Uh, super serial card, of course. I think most of them even I think most of the ones that I have have those. Uh, we got the 80 column, I believe 64k card right here, the RAM card. Yep. So. So there's that, um, and then I have a Parallel Pro card, a, two of those actually, but they're not, not both of them are in here. Just a printer card, and uh, 
one right here. So, yeah, two of those, and I think I've got one cable, unfortunately, so we'll have to put another one on there. I might mod make a cable for them and rig something up in the back here, because none of them are really connected, and they're kind of rusty. But, and it looks like we have a, a 2E Platinum expansion cover in there, so. All the ones that I have are enhanced 2Es, so. Yeah, this one was pretty dirty, I think. It was sitting in dirt, so. Need new rubber feet, but overall they look pretty nice. Unfortunately, he didn't really have any regular 2Es or the original 2Es. He either had these or the non-enhanced versions, um, which I just, I think there was a couple changes either on the ROMs or the uh, motherboards or something like that, um, or logic boards. So, yeah, you had a couple of these. Most of the most of them were just the enhanced versions, uh, but some of them were regular ones. So, and a couple other cards here. Uh, I think this can be used in a 2GS or a 2E, uh, to my knowledge. Memory uh, expansion, Apple II. 1985, so that would be before the 2GS, but I think it still works in the 2GS. Um, not sure on the uh, RAM capabilities with that, or how much you can be, ex how much they can be expanded to. Um, and uh, here's just a 2GS. This is a little bit of an earlier 2GS RAM expansion card, I think. Yeah, 90, 86. Yep. And. Uh, most of these are little printer cards, I don't know, Dumpling, Microtech uh, Dumpling GX here, which is just a printer card, um, as is the Parallel Pro card, so one of those might go on a 2GS just because I, or I could just probably sell it or something, I don't know, I don't really know. I'd really like to get a SCSI card for one of these. I already spent six minutes talking about this, which kind of doesn't leave a whole lot of time left, but uh, yeah, so that's Matte Machine, those are the cards. Next up we have just another 2E Enhanced, and this one has the uh, Applied Engineering um, printer card thing in there. Or wait, maybe that's for this. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think it is for that. I think I think this is actually for this printer card in here. But uh, this one also has a SASE card in it, uh, which means just a, basically the earlier version of SCSI. So. That's kind of cool. It also has a older style um, floppy drive uh, controller, so it doesn't have one of the newer ones, but I think I have one I could probably throw in there. Um, just means it works with these drives and not the newer five and a quarter inch drives. So, but I think this one actually isn't as yellowed as the other one. And then below this, below this is a Platinum 2E. Uh, that's cracked in the corner, but it's all there, and it was also the nicest condition one that he had. Um, unfortunately, he really did not have any nicer ones there, so. A lot of the 2Es were pretty good. I think he had maybe 25 2Es, and then I remember I don't remember how many I counted of 2GSs, but I think it was close to uh, 12 or something like that. Um, so, yeah, that was that. I got a, a, a dual drive, dual disc drive a um, bunch of these I think seven of these three and a half inch floppy drives another stack of uh, floppy drives that are five and a quarter inch how many is that one two three six six of those no did I get seven of those too what is wrong with me taking seven of them seven of them I don't know why I did that I wanted to take even numbers why didn't I do that and then I got six of these uh, Older disc two drives, so that was cool. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how that all worked out as far as that goes. Two uh, GS Magnavox computer monitor, just a composite monitor is all it is. Uh, so uh, Tandy uh, Coco, I think, just the original one with the uh, chiclet keyboard. And uh, yeah, this uh, I don't even honestly know. I don't even know if it works. I think he didn't really say he wanted anything for it, so I just kind of took it with me. It uh, isn't in terrible condition though. I can't uh, I can't really tell um, all that well though because I, I can't get it open. Um, and then I got two disk drives. I'm not sure if they're for this machine or not. I don't really even know because I've never had them. So we'll see what happens with those disk drives. Uh, he also had a TRS 
680 Model 4, and I might go back and grab that along with a couple of uh, IBM PS2 things that he had. Uh, he had a couple of Model 25 SX machines, which are education-based machines only. I don't think they really ever sold to anything else. And a lot of the stuff, actually all this stuff did come from schools. As far as I know, I'm not sure about the Tandy. Um, so, but uh, yeah, so I might go back for uh, the uh, TRS-80 Model 4 if he still has it. And uh, the two, um, hopefully the two uh, IBM PS2 Model 25s for sure. And uh, also, I think there was a Dell I was going to maybe think about grabbing. And I think there was an IBM model uh, 5160 XT. The case was destroyed, but I really started thinking about that. And I was kind of thinking maybe I could find a better case for it and just swap over what was inside. Because stuff inside didn't look terrible. It was just the case was bent in half. So, or the back was folded over. It looked like something had fallen on it. And uh, so, I might take that and... Maybe use it if he hasn't recycled it already. A lot of the stuff he was recycling, so... Or scrapping, I should say. So I wanted to take as much as I could before. A lot of this stuff got scrapped. I uh, got a bunch of 2GS keyboards as well. A keyboard for the Macintosh uh, 2CX, which is a, actually a really nice looking keyboard. I, I didn't realize how... Uh, how... Uh, yeah, this key doesn't have much travel. I didn't realize how not yellow it was, though. Oh. I don't know that caps lock key's broken down, but yeah. So there's that. That'll go fit well with that because I don't have a nice keyboard for it. And for whatever reason, they're kind of expensive, and I just happen to find that. So, well, that was a little odd. My uh, camera shut off. Uh, but yeah, this is a Keytronic. Sorry about that. That's a Keytronic um, keyboard, XT80 keyboard, which is kind of why I picked it up. I looked it up, and apparently, it uses uh, foil foil and foam key switches which is kind of going to be a pain and I kind of wish I wouldn't have grabbed that but uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it now hopefully it works that's all I can hope for uh, it looks like it's almost brand new uh, the cable is still wrapped and the keys don't feel terrible but you can't tell I mean with this com with those key switches they're they could be bad I don't even know uh, so yeah and a bunch of 2GS keyboards so Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention is uh, I picked up a 2C monitor. Uh, hopefully for this 2C. It might be kind of cool, but I also have a... I didn't notice that. I also have a uh, 2C Plus downstairs as well. And that was a old pickup, so... Yeah, probably see that at some point. Um, and he, might, he has another monitor, but it doesn't have a stand. I might go back and look at it, but last I remember it was sitting outside. And uh, we just got a foot of snow recently so I don't think it's gonna be any good but you never know maybe I'll brush it off take it home well I have no clue how I only have 14 minutes left on this SD card but uh, we're gonna try to make this as quick as possible I guess and uh, yeah so we're in the basement now uh, it's like nine hours later I should probably put this on my computer so I'd have more room but I didn't think about that until just now so that's that's smart but, uh, yeah, so I guess we'll start off with this. This is a 2GS that was in the collection. Just the 2GS. Nothing else was in there uh, except for the cord for the floppy drive. Because I actually had this floppy drive. And uh, I stole the cord off the one that was out there. It was actually kind of bent when I got it. But fix that. Don't know if it works because the power supply gets overloaded when, the, uh, when it tries to read a floppy disk. So it doesn't even spin up the spindle motor at all. So, yeah, pretty... Uh, Pretty nice. That tells you basically what's got to be done on this yet. Everything else is done. Uh, it was a little rusty. The shielding was rusty. And I was just kind of thinking I might do maybe a couple restorations on some of that stuff, like an Apple IIe restoration and uh, maybe a 2GS restoration as well. I think it would be kind of make for a kind of a cool video. I don't think a lot of people have done that um, yet. I usually try to like to make videos. Most of my restoration videos are either something that's kind of unusual or... Uh, you know, something that's nobody's really done before. So, you know, I, and I watch a lot of them. There could be somebody out there that's done it on video. I just don't know. You know, another reason why I kind of follow that rule is because I don't want to just make restoration videos all the time because uh, that gets kind of boring. So I like to kind of maybe split it up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So there's that. And uh, the keyboard and everything else I already had, and I got more of them. But uh, I only have one monitor, unfortunately. 
And he had a couple more there. He told me I could have for free. But I picked up a gold star monitor. And I, I turned it on its side. There was a bunch of sand that fell out of it. So I wasn't, uh, I wasn't too uh, sure that the rest of them were going to work. So I don't know. I should have probably. There was like probably seven 2GS monitors there. And there's a couple was a monitor threes that he had as well and they were faded and some of them were cracked and i i didn't take any of those i i wish i would have because they're kind of they're kind of unusual on that sense i guess but i don't know they're i don't think i think it'd be too much work almost to have to redo the entire you know like glue all that plastic together and i could probably do it but i don't know i, I figured maybe somebody else could get use out of them um and i already have a Quite a few CRTs. Plus, I got all those uh, little CCTV CCTVs that I use sometimes for monitors. So, yeah, that's that's kind of why I didn't grab any of them. But I should have grabbed some 2GS monitors. Um, I, I don't know why I didn't. Or some of the uh, Color 2E monitors, um, or the two Apple II Color monitors as well. So, don't know why I didn't do that. But uh, maybe I'll go back and see if he has more. Like I said, I might go back anyway. So, yeah. That's enough of talking about that. We're already three minutes in, I guess, uh, according to this camera. So that means I got 11 more minutes to go. Uh, you can kind of see I got into the audio stuff a little bit. That's kind of more of my side hobby, though. I'm not going to, you know, overtake all my computer videos. Uh, you probably won't even ever see a video on that just because I'd rather keep the channel more computer-based than anything else. You know, I, I might go out and film a couple things that are odd, like that random cat video I filmed back in... 2014 or whatever and you know that, that was kind of interesting i guess but uh yeah none of the uh none of the other ones are uh are too interesting really i don't know what i was just talking about there i just blanked out uh but yeah i'm not gonna go into like the stereo stuff probably so you don't have to worry about that uh <laughs> unless some of you want it i guess if, if enough people ask maybe um got a tandy 1000 needs to be fixed before i do anything with it because i i want to try to it needs new roms and i have to figure that out before i can mess around with it I, at least i have it figured out i just gotta write them and then or burn them and then put them in here and make an adapter and all that so once i do that then i'll film a video i just don't want to have it sitting on my desk all apart um a couple new machines here as well you guys have seen most of this stuff up here uh maybe except for the macintosh 2 and the uh, 2c plus but uh, these two machines the tandy 2500SX20 and the uh, PS Value Point uh, 433SXD, uh, which is basically the same thing as the other one, just uh, 4633 instead of a 25. So, and the cases are a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, so both of these actually I took pictures of when I when I restored them, and there'll be a video on that at some point, um, just like a slideshow of both of them. I'm not going to separate them out and do two videos. Just because that doesn't really make any sense. If I could fit them in both at the same time, then, you know, that's kind of like a dual, a two-in-one, I guess you could say. Uh, buy one, get two free. Uh, that was kind of dumb. Anyway, so we got the Compact Portable 286, not a Compact Portable 2. It's kind of an unusual machine. Uh, I'll probably do a video on it at some point, just because it's kind of unusual. Uh, it's been restored, though. haven't turned it on in a while. I probably should do that, because they... They are known for their, uh, I believe, their uh, power supplies failing. A um, couple motherboards, it's a stack of like old AT. The only one that's ATX is this, uh, I think it's a socket 467 or 487. One of the AMD sockets, the very late 90s uh, AMD socket motherboards. And you guys have seen that probably, I think, before. Um, that's actually the same motherboard with a uh, with just everything's been upgraded or everything's been fixed that was wrong with it, um, except for maybe a couple capacitors. Um, I believe that is a Pentium socket seven motherboard, and then I got two three eighty six motherboards, and then an IBM. Uh, that's all dusty now. That was nice and clean, but that's an IBM uh, Model thirty motherboard. So I don't even know why I have a spare because it works. I that one works too. I don't know why I'm really keeping the other one, but. I think even the battery is at three volts, because I don't I don't really even think this mach this motherboard was uh, I don't know how much it was used. It came from my school. I just happened to pick up I think four of those motherboards. No, just a few of those motherboards from school, and uh, the rest of them are back there somewhere. I think I got an old Packard Bell or 
I think it's a Packard Bell monitor or uh, motherboard as well in that. And that's actually a full AT motherboard instead of the baby AT. So that, that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, we're almost halfway through this, I guess. Uh, so a couple other things. This is a, uh, a S100 computer um, case. And I didn't pay anything for that, and the guy gave it to me. So that was kind of cool. And I had to pick that up. I mean, it was, it was free. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty uh, they're pretty neat things. Especially because it's kind of like something I wanted to get into for a while. So ever since I bought the CBT-100, which is not SCM-100 compatible. I don't know where I ever heard that, but it's not. Uh, it's, I think it's a little bit different. So, but yeah, you know, maybe S-100 stuff in the future. Uh, I need to rebuild the power supply, so maybe not in the near future. But definitely in the future. Uh, maybe this summer. Uh, Model 25, you guys have seen that. Model 50 and... Or 55 and 30. Um, of PS2s. We've got the 2 Plus there. That's going to be a great addition to my... Uh, I can actually use some of those Disk 2 drives with it. That's what I was kind of hoping for. And then at some point I'll get that working as well. Because it doesn't work right now. Um, yeah. Doesn't do... Uh, doesn't have... Don't have... Don't really have much else over on this shelf uh, to really talk about. A couple speakers. K-Pro 4 uh, that I'm partially restored and then couldn't get it to work so i got to buy a new logic board or whatever for that. Uh, got some more software stuff. CPT-100 now has its own cabinet. And that's where most of my Apple stuff's going to go, I think. I'm going to try to make that like an Apple-exclusive cabinet. So Apple IIs and stuff are going to go in there. Uh, right now there's a Apple IIe and a hard drive. A couple, Actually, a box of hard drives old IDE drives that I've been uh, restoring sort of and formatting so I can use them if I ever need them. They probably don't even work now. They've been sitting in there for like two months. Uh, not that that would make them stop working, but maybe they're just sad and they decided to stop. I don't know. So yeah, that's that. A uh, couple Dells. I think one's a Vista. They're both Vista. Well, one's Vista and then the other one is our old family Dell, which replaced this machine right here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, 386 right there. A couple bunch of Commodore stuff that I have to go over and do a video on. Box right there. Box right there. Two boxes right there. And then an SX64. All of which I got for free. It was quite unusual to find that. Um, not at all at the same time. Uh, but, I, you know, I picked up two. Actually, I have two of the bread box of bread bin 46. Or, ha, I always say that. Commodore 64s. So... Plus an SX64. And I got one of them with the SX64, and the other one came with a bunch of games, and I got that from my aunt. So. A couple uh, gateway things, too. Got a gateway uh, 4 DX2 66V. That's going to be a video along with the uh, P560. I'm going to do a comparison on them at some point. And I also have a color book that's a 50 MHz 46, and we'll do a comparison on that, too. That sounds fun. Uh, most of this stuff I'm going to try to sell. So. Millennium Pro server partially restored that. I'm not even sure what if it runs now. <laughs> I haven't ran it for a while. Uh, I actually have a lot of random floppy disks lying around, if anybody noticed that. I hope you weren't counting, because I probably have over 100 of them that aren't in a box. Um, well, I don't think I have that much. That's, that's going a little bit too far there. But, uh, yeah, I need to find a box. These are all, like, Mr. Disk games and, pro and programs that I found. I don't know where, to be completely honest with you. Um, yeah, there's the, uh, discs for the AT&T computer. Uh, this is supposed to be for a project, this machine right here, this is going to be like a gaming computer, I think, a Pentium one. You guys might remember this. I sold the rest of these, but I kept this machine out of the entire lot, and I kept the compact. Um, still got the Dell 4 V400, and need to do something with that. I need to turn it on or something, because I haven't turned it on in a long time. And I'm really worried that it doesn't work, even though I, I highly doubt that uh, that's the case. I should even really restore that machine at some point, too. That might be a cool video. Yeah, I got the uh, 2CX here as well. Had to buy that because I had a portrait display, and I had one prior to that that didn't work when I recap it. So, recap this one with tantalums. Works fine now. Uh, probably should recap the power supply. It's a little sluggish, but it'll be a day be a job for another day and it seems to be all right right now but I should never say that because one of these days i'm going to turn it on it's going to explode or something so yeah don't want that to happen got the compact pro lena 5100 that needs a hard drive kit and a cd drive uh, mounting hardware because i don't have them 
and a nice voice crack. But yeah, so that's going to be a gaming machine too, probably just one that I have set up. And this one's going to be one that I can use if, you know, a friend comes over or something to play a game. So yeah, look at that. We did that within 14 minutes. Wow. Um, also built a 46 and a, uh, AMD K7 machine that those are like gaming computers and I'll get into those at some other time. Uh, I just don't have time to get into them right now. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. It's fairly long, and uh, look forward to more videos. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm going to try to do one a month. That seems pretty good. I don't want to say any more because I might do more or I might do less than that. Who knows? We'll stick to that, and uh, you never know. So I don't want to make a full schedule right now because I'm not sure what's going to happen. So Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Well, as you can see, it's the start of a new year. In fact, uh, that's probably wrong, so it's probably actually not. Um, but uh, whatever, close enough.